Gates. Anyone caught using capital letters will be ejected from the stream and banned for life. This is your first and final warning. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Hello, it's me, your favorite rugby artist, Fakey Fiverr. You watch his Sega Socks live. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also support the Patreon. Yes, thanks, Saz. We're here in the... Um... Hello and welcome back to another day. I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave me. Right, this is the K-Lord Gamer here. Any more messing about and I'll get this baller, but I'll smash it on your head. Hello and welcome back. Just thought I'd have a little quick live stream this morning and uh, playing a bit of Toki to begin with on the Mega Drive. So uh, let's, let's take a look at that. So it has been a, maybe it's been a week since I've done a stream. It's been a busy week. It's been a busy weekend, but uh, finally found some time and energy to actually Play some games, so here we are. My, Toki feels slow. Oh, oh god, I thought, I was falling, I thought I was jumping down a hole then. This is one of those games that I regrettably never bought. At one time, it was a, very much an unappreciated title. So I believe it's a fairly accurate conversion of the arcade original. Oh, oh, that wasn't good, was it? That wasn't good at all. Oh, everything's out to kill you in this game. One hit death all the way. Devil monkey, I think. Oh, jump on the red. No, I think this is a fairly underrated title because a lot of people sort of slate it, but definitely worse games of this type on the Mega Drive. How's that bottomless pit? See that? That's classic 16-bit game programming there. If it could just drop off there, you'd die. Oh, he only just makes it. Got on the weakest shot type available. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What we got now? Oh, super. Build it up. Oosh. Oh. That's good, you can hold that down while running. Most useful. So I hope everyone's well on this Sunday morning. It's looking a little bit crispy outside. Certainly here anyway. Ooh. Oh! Jeez. Thought I was a goner then. Let's just look. Oh, I've got to make sure. 16 ton. Yes. Oh. A 
again. Another pitfall. Oh, I expected that to drop away. I really did. I like the fact you can <clears throat> fire directly upwards, so it's a nice feature. Oh, no. Man, where have we got to start right at the beginning of what? Uh, how not to play totally. Yeah, I really wish I'd bought this. I think it's a great game. Even I'm terrible at it. I think it gets a lot of things right. Just got to be a little bit cautious. Oh, it's got a shoot 'em up vibe to it. Watch out for the flower. Oh, is it going to come this time or not? Oh, that was it. That was it. So sneaky, the enemies in these games. I'm not sure if there's actually. Oh, what's happening there? An extra life. I don't need that. Oh, but now I'm in a bad place, surely. Oh. I'm going to have to try and land on his head, I think. Oh, no, the power up's running out. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought that was a bottomless pit there. Just jump on his head. Come on. Get through. Get through it. Out the chat, make sure I wasn't ignoring anyone. Yeah, I was going to do a stream last night, but just totally worn out. So I didn't bother because you really you've got to be in the mood. Oh, what dinosaurs. Yeah, you really got to be in the mood. I mean, obviously on a Sunday morning, it's a bit of a little more laid-back atmosphere. Come on. They're annoying. I've actually managed to get the sound through my headphones <laughs> to be in sync with the gameplay, which is ace, I must say. I can see why everyone else is wearing headphones now, I suppose. Still prefer life without them, but it's nice to be able to monitor the levels. can vary from game to game. Boom, 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 boom. So someone's question sent me a question about what kind of RGB scart. Best bet, get on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's your best bet if you want a question answering, really. Get on the stream, son. Oh, what have we got to do here? Oh, my word. Well, that's that side sorted. I suppose. Can we get under here? Go, Toki, go, Toki, go, to go. Ooh, duck down, duck down. Burning monkeys! Serious burning monkey there. Oh, I'm not even hitting it. <gasps> oh, what's happening now? Is that defeated or what? Please say it is. No, it comes back. No, it doesn't. That's good. Yeah. Don't know what that question is. Oh, I didn't read it, so that didn't help. Is that speed up? 
Oh, yeah. Look at him. Wogla. Does that last forever? Oh, my. Oh, no. Hope they're there again. <coughs> serious jumping power with them. I, I wasn't aware of the danger. Come on, let's try. Oh, yes. That's what I like. That's better. Oh, yes. Uh oh. That's going to come back to haunt me. Uh oh. This game's mad. I love it. Gutted I never got bought it. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, no! I think you have to go. Oh, the mud monkey's after me. Am I invincible? I think you've got to go on them vines, haven't you? We're going Donkey Kong style -y. Oh man. He's not a good lad at jumping. These monkeys ain't happy either. Chaos over here. How's he gonna get across there? Oh, have a lucky. No! Unbelievable, Jeff. Can't believe it. Oh, where do you think it is? Do you think it's in the way? Or... Nah. Ooh. Stealth him away in. Miss the freeway. Probably not clever. <gasps> that wasn't that was even more stupid, to be fair. Now yeah, what's everyone up to? Any amazing plans? <laughs> oh man. Gonna have to gonna have to have one continue, surely. Even if it's just died on that stage. Beautiful that is in the background. I just noticed it was dying. Oh, died again. Notice the uh, the valley down below. What do they call it? The vis the vista. Is that what they call it? No, oh, I don't feel in a good position. No. <laughs> hey mate, very different to the arcade game. This. How's it going, Carl? Yeah, I've never really played Eva, to be fair. Never really give this much of a chance because it's always had a fairly bad reputation, but I've got to say, from the bit I'm playing this morning, I think this is a great game. It's tough. Oh. But, you know, I, I just don't know it well enough, do I? So let's have one more credit. Go on. I think it requires a little bit of patience. Which may be where I'm going, going wrong. Ooh. 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 There's a lot can go wrong. That is for certain. I've lost my magic shoes. No. Open now. God, he was rubbish at jumping before. It's not much better now. Shoot. Ooh. Go for it more. Pro protect the animals. Going through this time. Alright, quit that. I 
Them shoes don't last long. Ooh, respawning. Respawning in five, four, three, two, one. A little bit of respawning. There's nothing more disheartening. Come on then, monkey man. Foreign everywhere. What's that? Oh. No, I was firing upwards. Come on. Terror. Yeah, any particular game you wouldn't mind seeing? Oh, probably not Juju. <laughs> World's worst Juju player. Live. Then it's easy to die in this game. That's what I'm finding. Very easy to to make a mistake. Yeah, certainly not a bad game. So I wish I wish I'd got a copy because it would probably put some time into it. Got all right at it. Oh my god, there's the exit as well. Oh, but I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? Oh dear, hold on. Will this see me in better stead? Might do. Yes. Finally. Oh no, it's not even the end. No, there's going to be another boss, isn't there? Oh, that's a real slip of the toes that was. That's a bit of waterfall action there. What the funk? Platforming as in intensified. It's a bit early. A bit early for drinking coffee. It is a bit early. It's a bit early in the midnight hour for me. Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, have a quick morning mess about. I might do one later on. Just thought, make sure everything was still working. Still got it dialed in or not? Oh yes. How far does this go? Where to the top? No. No. Yes. That spider's going to come back, is it? Oh, I hope not. <gasps> what is that? Who knows? Oh, it's coming. What's coming back? Go to uh, Toki. Oh man, that's not even the way. What? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I see. Ooh, please don't hang around long. Oh, is it the exit? Ooh. Ooh. Surprised he made that jump. Ooh. It's more athletic than you think. It's okay. Ooh. I suppose you've got to be careful what you say in relation to the uh, type of animal he may be. Standing on there is not a good idea. 
Yeah, some mud, uh, not layering. Layering. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, put some else on. Yeah, I like that. It's tough, but it's still good. Crotch cam. Yeah, what sort of hours do you generally start your moderating duties? I mean, as you can see, a lot of trouble in the comments section at the minute. A lot of differing opinions. It's, uh, yeah, it's an absolute barroom brawling there. Uh, what do we want to play? Oh, Marco, we don't want to play that, surely. We used to have that, though. It's another tough platformer. Oh, platforming mood, perhaps. Um, let's, uh, let's put on Mickey Mania. That might that might be too much crutch cam. Hard to tell. It's a big one this, a big load up. Serious loading going on. Well I don't know if they're still there, Stu, but uh I don't think I've seen any live streams from you of late. I suppose you've been pretty tied up. So I used to have this game. In fact, I've had it several times. It's a, it's a decent enough platformer. No, no two ways about it. Graphically very impressive. Quite a late title. Oh, well, it's wonderful how it starts off in black and white. I mean. This does look fantastic. Oh, watch that, Mickey. What's happened? Have I died? Oh no, I've got to take control. I'll ring the bell. Can't for the life of me. Ooh, I remember what you're supposed to do. It seems like this must be the way. This is the way. Come on, Mickey. So I think this is the one that wasn't released on the Super Nintendo. It had a slightly different game. I always remember seeing it in magazines and there was a section, like many games, with a hill and a ball rolling down it. Where am I supposed to go then? There's not looking good. I think you're supposed to go on that rope above it. Could well have been the way. Oh no. Can you just... No. He's got to bounce on the birds. Oh no, I was on it then. I think I can just walk on the rope, can't I? Overthinking it. Oh, a bit of colour creeping in. Ring the bells. What bells? Oh, is that them up there? Might be. Hmm, yes, it's obviously something I'm not getting here. I need to go up there, but do I have to throw something? And I need, no. Ah, oh, so something simple.
Ah, there's the bells. Oh, the colour's coming in now. Whoops. Have I not rang them all? You're joking. Oh. <laughs> it's a memory game. That's where I'm going wrong. I think that's where it's... It's going wrong with memory. I wonder if there were some more bells on the other building. Can't remember seeing any. No. It's a memory game. The only problem is, got bad memory. <laughs> I don't know where these bells are. Oh, we're, oh, we're we've done it. What was something in now? Mental animation. Now I need that big guy surely to get over here. That's it. No, yeah, I get it. Yes. It's well done. It's well done. Oh, you fighter. Hmm. Ah. Oh, look at that. Mode 7. I smell a boss battle. Ooh. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Oh. I see. Ah, oh, bust the machine. I think I'm doing the wrong thing. Yes. Need more of them. Oh, I don't need nothing. Oh, Mickey, come on. Oh, where's the fruit bar? Ah, you only get... Oh! Damn. <laughs> ah, yeah, I meant to post that about Toki, but I lost... Connection. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a game of memory. It's like a lot of these platforms, isn't it? If you don't know where the uh, tricky sections are, you know, where there's enemies above you or pits to fall down, it, it is more difficult. Um, Any particular game you want to see on? I have got them all on the other drive. <laughs> How did you get on sorting out your man cave? Did you uh, move your B&O out or did you decide to keep it in? Oh, that's the bomb button. Press that straight away. I can get up there. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Off to the worst start. Hopefully I'll find something to eat shortly. Oh no. Oh man. The arcade game can be really cheap with deaths. This is a really, uh, oh, hello. 
Remember him coming back to life. Oh, this is a really cool game. It's a, obviously, a, well, you probably know. It's a Sega conversion of a Capcom arcade game. Whoa. What happened then? I can cling to the walls. Oh, brilliant. It's been a while, I think. Oh, come on. I spent most of the time clearing the loft out in the end. <laughs> yeah, I've done that a few times. It just seems to get more stuff in there again. Crushed. Oh. Started off innocent enough. Now I'm getting battered. I don't think I've ever done so bad. Definitely have to have another go. Oh, got got a nice bit of workmanship to show you actually, Carl. Spotted this whilst out and about. So here we are in Coventry looking at this pretty stunning piece of workmanship. Great bollard work. Made a real neat job. Really neat job. If you've got a job that needs doing, give these boys a call. Excellent work. Here at stage one, upholstery company. There we go, and uh, as you can see, incre incredible stuff there, so, yeah, oh, press the bloody bomb button straight away, haven't I? Should have used that on that boss. I actually used to be quite good at this game. Do have a proper copy of it. Stunning box art on this one, the Japanese game. of frogs in full on psycho mode taking on grasshoppers and frogs left right and centre whoa cheeky right I'm going to bomb him he's going down he couldn't handle that he's just in mid, mid tier nobody oh he's back damn some health somewhere pretty low at the minute oh no oh. god they don't stop come oh <laughs> not that again damn well, I think it's probably player shoot them up because uh, the platforming skills seem to uh, be at an all time low this morning I'll just press start again and I definitely need to get one of those other ever drives. Uh, what shall we play? Not dangerous seed. Played that way too much on streams. Uh,
Let, let's play some Thunder Force Free. Not that I'll probably fare any better on this. <sighs> Remember when I bought my uh, Japanese version of this? I had to complain to the seller because the instruction manual, somebody had cut out some sort of offer in the back of it. <laughs> They've made a neat job of it. Still got the same copy. Oh man, I really need that. Oh, blown it already. Oh, but now I've got no music either. That's not good. Oh, now I've got music. Oh, I want the backward shot. That's oh, still backwards. This is a game of memorization. If you know what weapon to have, providing you don't lose it. Stunning game, this. Absolutely stunning. Definitely top 25 for me. Definitely. I always say that as if I'd assemble some sort of top 25. Which I undoubtedly probably won't. Sounds like a lot of effort. Anything better for them? No. Oh shit. This didn't lose a backward shot, I suppose. You could say. Yeah, I just can't, Thunder Force 2, I just can't really get into it. I think it's one of them games you have to really be there to fully appreciate it. Because Although, I wish they'd just made all, every stage the overhead ones, and then it would be... I think it'd be worth uh, worth playing more, but... The side-scrolling stages are not a patch on on these two games, obviously. I'm, I'm 3 and 4, I mean. They're just not even in the same... Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. They're not even in the same uh, league, really. Thank God for that. I remember seeing screenshots of this back in the day. It blew me away. Yeah. Oh, this is absolutely brilliant game. This is really good. It's not quite as flashy as 4, but I think overall this one is more consistent. I'd rather play this than 4. Um, it tries a lot of things. Again, it's a game, absolutely a game of memory because uh, if you don't remember where uh, some of these things come out and where to be, which I don't, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. You know, I can't remember what comes at the back of me. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of a clue there you can see in the ground. I'm making that, it's impossible. I need to pay a bit more attention than I. And the reason you don't want to shoot them really if you don't, if you don't have to is because they split into four so they just become an even bigger problem. That might have been a shield I just missed them. Quite useful that one for that. Yeah, that um, it's that F. I've already got it. Uh oh, oh, I need that one. Oh, that's the one you need. Oh, do I want to go for the extra life or not? Oh, 
bastard. <laughs> what a fucker. Oh my god. Oh my. That was close. <laughs> Can't believe that. So sneaky. Go on, get out of town. Oh, that te the, the window of opportunity to get through there was closing quickly. Oh, this boss is such a meanie. Oh, no. Bastard. Oh, bastard. That's to slow me down. I don't think I want to be that slow. Do I? Oh, no, I definitely don't. Oh, Neil. Just one down. One less to be concerned with. Watch out for this bastard. Come down here, you thug. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, it's a, it's a slog. <laughs> Can't believe it got into the third level. Did so terrible at the very beginning as well. Unbelievable, Jeff. I'm going to get wiped out here, though. What have I got? Oh, Hunter. Oh, I'll tell you what, my heart's pounding after that level. I thought I was going to eat all my lives up, and I've only got one life left, but all the same. Oh, I just got another one. Oh no, the current pushed me up. Hunter! Oh, no, get the hunter back quick. That current is nasty. Oh, that would be really handy. That would. Yes. Love a good underwater stage. Really do. Huntering the whole way here, spamming the hunter. These currents are nasty. <gasps> That's gonna fucking blow my head off if it does anything laserish. What's it got in the bag? Can I go through there? Yes, oh, it has got lasers. Just die soon, please. I need that shield bad. Yes! Oh, I'd have been dead without that. It's this weapon's shit. At destroying some things. Excuse my French, but it is. It's good with mere mortals, but with bosses, I think even the standard weapon is uh, superior. I don't want to get caught up in that laser business. Well, here we go. Are you sorted for streaming all your consoles now then? No, just wait for the sync strike. It's arrived in the UK from Germany, so bit of luck. I'll have that within the next week. And uh, then should be all sorted. Which should be sweet. Be proper sweet. See what I mean about the ordinary shot? It's that's what I like about this game. Is it's fair with you, the ordinary shot is still reasonable. Until takes down the enemies. Yeah, will be, and then uh, I'll have them all in motion. Probably never stop, never stream again after that. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I do. Get some assorted, and then uh, don't use it. I don't like that thing there. No, I know I didn't. Oh, oh, breathe in, breathe in the air, sneak, sneaky, oh my god, the lasers took my shield away, and I, I'd question if that laser hit me actually, I think it hit the shield, I don't think it hit me, oh, watch it, what's that, just points, just the points, 
a lot of these things clunking around there. Throwing raspberries at me. Whoa. Nice. I don't really want to lose that weapon. Is that a shield? It is a shield. No! It's death. That's another shield. No, it's not. Saber. Maybe it wasn't even shield that I died for. Oh no. No, oh, no, that is not stopping, is it? That is not stopping. Oh man, in a bad spot there. What was in a bad spot there? Yeah, the post is screwed up. Oh, an Aston Martin GT3 scale electric car. It still hasn't come. Yeah, well, it's uh, it is what it is. I mean, at the minute I've got Mega Drive and Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. Obviously, I'm more keen on Super. Um, fucking hell, more keen on Mega Drive. But uh, I look forward to being able because I can't play any of the consoles, other consoles at the minute either because uh, of the way everything's wired in. I need the sync strike to even be able to play them myself. So look forward to getting it to play on Neo Geo again. So. It's quite anticipated, but uh, yeah, getting by, getting by. Yeah, well, bad was it that? What did I get through three levels? Was that the fourth fourth level? That's not bad. I think there's. Probably six or seven or something like that. When I used to go to my friend's house, I used to have a 50 Hertz Mega Drive, and uh, the shooters were so much easier. <laughs> I tell you, the dodging was a lot easier. I swear. Or maybe it's maybe it's the 10 or 15 years that have incurred on me since then. But uh, what else should we? Uh, I've played that a lot, Super Shinobi 2. Um, that Vapor Trail. I don't think I've played that much. Well, maybe I have. Oh, well, playing it again now. 47 minutes. Could really do with a coffee. Should get a coffee machine, shouldn't I? Oh, I think should watch the intro. loud what do I want I don't want low speed got to be high speed that's what I'm after now I'll probably press the bomb button straight away oh no well, as you can see there were three different crafts to choose from can't say I'm particularly keen on the firepower that's being displayed on my current ship, but uh, I'll, I'll bear with it. Not, not seeing much need for the back shot. Ah, hold on. It's got some nice digitalized speech, this one. A lot of people slate it, but. I found once you put it in stereo, it was it was reasonably clear. You could certainly hear what was being said. I'm not saying it was DVD quality or anything. I'll do it now. No, I didn't say it. Oh, I'm sure he used to say, I "Threw it all in." Maybe that's when you die. I don't know. It's true with these ever drives, you play that many games, I'm getting confused. Ooh. Go on. Now we've got some rear end action. Crikey, do I even want this? No. 
This sucks compared to the weapons I had. Alright, there I was, bigging up the speech. I have no idea what was just said then. Yeah, that was some of the worst digitalised speech on the planet. Nice bit of music though. End of stage music there. Mission 1 complete. Yeah, looking forward to playing on my Neo Geo again. I really am. It's, well, I know it looks slick through the uh, OSSC because I've plugged it in direct. I thought this stage was a bit of a... It's a bit of a downgrade, I thought. But it does get better again. It's just this desert level hasn't really stood the test of time, I don't feel. Now, there was a sequel to this, I think, on Saturn. Uh, is it called... S School something? I think it is. Oh no. There we go. There's that speech. If you could get a cheap PC engine and never drive, you won't believe the amount of quality shooters on there. A cheap Chinese RG booster and Mega Drive 2 SCART lead. School fan, that's it, yeah. Yeah, it's just fitting it all in. I mean, I think in the end. I'll end up just getting one of them Raspberry Pis. Look, keeping all my stuff like, but just for streaming, and then you can play anything. You can play anything from Commodore 64 to Neo Geo, I suppose. Trouble is, would I ever select a game? It's it's hard enough with the uh, Mega Drive Ever Drive. Um, and that's a console I'm quite familiar with. There's not many Mega Drive games I haven't tried. There are some. There's not that many, but when it comes to PC Engine and all these other things, a bit less knowledgeable. I mean, I suppose you could just put the best games on, couldn't you, rather than having all of them, but who's going to do that? Yeah, the pie works great too. It looks great on my Philips monitor. So I know Breath Mints, Ben. Hello. I played through this the other night. Props for it being a co-op shmup on the Mega Drive. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's pretty decent. There's a few, isn't there? Um, God, my memory's gone this morning. I had the game Battle Squadron. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's two player. Not the greatest of games. Crying. Um... What's it, what was it called over here? Oh, Jesus. Biohazard Battle. Um, yeah, there's not that many, is there? Um, that other one's one, isn't it? Uh, it's called Firepower 2000, I think, in America, but here it was called. I think it was a sequel to Silkworm or something. I'm sure you know what game I mean. Yeah, I can't, I can't think of... Uh... Oh, 
there's another one that I've got. Uh, <laughs> again, I can't remember the name. Oh, bloody hell. No, it's gone. It's the one with the Kaneko power glove. I can tell you that much. Yeah, other than that, I can think of five. I don't know if there's more. But yeah, they're, they're a rare thing. music. Oh no. Can fly backwards. I'm giving him the D. <clears throat> Aero blasters, yeah. The Kaneko glove laughing out loud, that's an obscure reference. <laughs> Love the intro music for that game. Mega Swiv or Mega Drive, Super Swiv. Battle Squadron is brutal. I only really use it to play arcade games. I've got a fair amount of original games. Yeah, I just think it'd be easy for streaming, wouldn't it, the Raspberry Pi? If I did it, I'd just limit it to one console. Otherwise, uh... But then... I don't know. Would I, would I find fault with it? I don't know. Sean. RS Vagan 500 doesn't think you can fault it too much on a CRT, so. But then again, I've got, <laughs> I've got shit loads of games anyway. It's not like uh, I'm struggling for one to play most of the time. I can't, I can't <laughs> remember a time when I came up here and thought, oh, I've got nothing, nothing <laughs> to play. <laughs> Oh, so choose a different one. Choose that one. Was it like the NES Power Glove? No. <laughs> I'll have to get the box out now. <laughs> the NES Power Glove. Oh, man. Rain your expectations right down. <laughs> oh. Always getting this out. Arse cam. That's the arse cam. Arse cam 3000. Is it even in here? Say all this, I can't even see it. Must still be out somewhere. No. No, oh, what's that? Oh, it is there. It is there. It's there. All of it's just to show you the glove, but oh, what's that? <laughs> Oh, fucking idiot. Right. <laughs> right, prepare yourself. Oh, what's happening? Is the camera not working? Oh dear, what have I done to that? Have I upset that as well? It's in fact, it seems I have. I've upset everything, it seems. Hold on. Hold on. Problems. What's happening here? Ah, uh, we're back, we're back, <laughs> right, <laughs> about crashed the stream to show you this, but, oh, and I can't hold it straight, no, nope. <laughs> I just can't, I'd love to see one, I really would, love to see one, <laughs> great bit of kit. Absolutely essential. Fun fact I found. There are weapons variations between the creatures in Biohazard Battle and Crying. 
I kept both versions from memory. Biohazard batter has better, stronger weapons. Yeah, I find crying a really hard game. I really do. It's a beautiful game, but it's very unique, but it is tough. I want to see you wearing Kaneko glove while slipping out of cotton <laughs> sipping out of a cotton teacup. That is a proper baller. People who can do that, jeez. <laughs> People who can afford to do that. Wow. <laughs> you're not even a, you're not even a Sega nut if you you haven't got the uh, cotton teacup and the Kaneko power glove. That combination. You have women falling at your feet if you went out wearing that. Oh, I'm dying all the time now in excitement. Just the thought. Now, down Starbucks. Don't bother with your cup. Use mine. I don't know if you even get them for sale now. I remember seeing them on eBay about 150 years ago. Haha, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's a true Mega Drive pimp attire. Imbued special mystical powers. <laughs> yeah, the good old Kaneko power glove. It's fun for all the family, I think. Yeah, I don't know if anyone on YouTube's got one. I should probably f make get a fake one, shouldn't I? Can't be that hard. Just need a Kaneko transfer, really. Then stick my copy of Aero Blasters on eBay, e eBay with a Kaneko power glove. <laughs> Gonna be worth about what, two hundred, two hundred and fifty pounds. The sweaty Kaneko power glove. I completed the game in this back in the day, as well as several other misadventures. <laughs> Feels great on the hand, it really does. Your button, your hand just, your fingers just slide over the buttons when you've got that in. It gives you that added support that you need to really increase your reaction speed. It's made of special wicking material that removes the sweat from your hands. So, and it's suitable for all seasons as well. You know, it's, it's great in the summer and the winter. It's just something you'll always want to keep on you when you've got it. You know, anything comes up. You've got to chop a tree down or something and operate a chainsaw. You know you're safe if you're wearing the Kaneko Power Glove. You know, other, other, other manufacturers of gloves can't guarantee that. So, I'm doing all right to mention Kaneko Power Glove. Now I've got overexcited. Oh, I don't want to pick up any power ups. I don't like them. Wow, <laughs> that slowdown then was amazing. Taking some uh, abuse, that train. Oh, 
like these but them wireless headphones are so so bad for the volume just like it it goes up and down all the bloody time don't know if it's my uh, budget price laptop or what the situation is they're handy for monitoring purposes but uh, I, just, I just can't get into wearing headphones after an hour it's all over for those headphones oh oh no that's the wrong button don't press that Saving that up. Future Matt, good morning, Leicester in the world. The video of you is working now. When I first turned on, I thought you was playing one-handed till I realised you wasn't moving at all. Oh my god, yeah. I don't know what happened there. That's probably been on. That's probably been on for the whole time. That was easy, wasn't it? Now I was thinking I couldn't pick my nose. Unbelievable. I only realised when I uh, came to show display the Kaneko Power Glove advert. But, uh, oh, come on. That bridge, how's that not hit him about 15 times? Absolute cheater. In we go. Whoa. Hello, Rocket Man. Elton's in. I need one of these power-ups. Real bad. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh dear me. Evening Ben, don't wish the day away. Fresh from the drum sanctuary. <laughs> yeah. It's ten. It's nine it's nine thirty-four. Um I'm gonna have to go make a cup of coffee anyway. But uh, I can I can leave you with either a video about the OSS S S. Or something you've already seen, probably. So, or I'll look through the old oak game cupboard, uh, which you've already seen. So we'll just go with the OSSS thing for now, which is just to look round it, which would be pretty boring, unless you actually want one. <laughs> drum from drum, drum from drum. So uh, yeah, I'll leave you with this a second. Hold on, I've got to turn them off as well. Now, admittedly, I'm having to hold a torch here because it's dark in this room at the best of times, especially at night. But uh, you can see the front of the unit here. There is an LCD display. On the left-hand side, there's something called JTAG. And then we've got two buttons here which will let you navigate through the menu screens. So I'll just power on the actual OSSC. You see, it illuminates up nicely, and that's where you can change all your settings. So on the left-hand side, we've got a HDMI port. We've also got two audio outs: one for AV3 and one for AV1 out, AV2 in. That's interesting, actually. A further audio out. That's a nice touch. So uh, on the right-hand side here, we've got the power in and VGA in. We've also got the on and off switch. And round at the back, this is where things really get interesting. It might be difficult to film this. Right, okay, on the back here we've got some component in. We've also got RGB SCART in. Now I must say, I think the SCART port is a little bit not the connection inside loose, the bit of plastic that you go in to, to reach the connections, that's a bit wobbly, but you've got to bear in mind that I'm probably not going to be using it, you know, pulling it in and out that much, it is going to be a stationary piece of equipment for me, so that's really it. We can't actually see it in motion without me unplugging some of my devices, but I've already got it half plugged in as it would be, ready for the uh, apparatus that uh, is coming soon. And then I can actually wire it up the right way. I've had to buy another capture card because the Elgato doesn't play nicely with it. But uh, the good thing about that is I've been recommended one by Sean R.S. Fagan that costs uh, £13. So. so that's it for now. Short little interlude on the uh, OSSD. Back to the studio. So sometimes when you have to nip off to the toilet or grab a beer, you have to find something to 
mildly entertain the viewers. So we're struggling here. So we want to take a look into the old Oak Games cupboard. Well, that's a montage of Mega Drive. That cannot be ignored. I've got more. These are some of my personal favourites. So obviously we've got the Micro Machines collection. Not got um, Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament because 96 was sort of a was sort of an update. It included the uh, course construction but it also fixed a few bugs and removed a few of the courses as well. Psycho Pinball actually bought this for that price you see there. $39.99 from Megamix Entertainment, that's where you used to get all my games from. There's a video shop in the town I used to live in. So what's some of these nice grid patterned PAL games? Megalomania, a bit of a classic. Uh, got the Konami collection, a few of the Konami games. Zombies, Sunset Riders, Castlevania. Bought the original version of that I had from Ian Wilson. Not to get any Wilson mentioned in every video. Pro Protector. Such a strange thing, wasn't it? The German censorship board enforcing us to have the humans change to robots and the name to Pro Protector. Protector. It's, uh, sensible Soccer, shout out. And of course, Electronic Arts games. Absolutely fantastic publisher on the Mega Drive. So, the next two rows, we've got Japanese stuff. Lots of shooters. Some fantastic artwork. I'll shout out to Super 52 and 1. Really like that. It's bad, but I like it. Elemental Master. Yes, my son. Devil Crush. You could pull out any of these, and the artwork's gorgeous. Don't know which one. It's just one after the other. It's non stop. The fun never ends. Serious, but uh, these toilet breaks only last so long, so yeah. Quite a lot of the shooters, Streets of Rage series. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I got all three games for £35 delivered. And when I made a video about it, there were people commenting saying, I'll put an offering for that, and they, they didn't accept. So, I'm not sure what quite happened there. Pac Man. <laughs> Right, this is the k Lord Gamer here. Any more messing about and I'll get this ballot and I'll smash it on your head. Okay, sorted. Still making coffee. Yes, yeah, same make too, Keiko. Oh, shame. Seeing you, Ben. Have a good week. Yeah, catch you later, Ben. Well, you've probably already gone now anyway, but... This is a true piece of kit. Is this what you've got? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've got. It looks simple, but it certainly seems to work the magic. I would say personally. Really need to fix my clock. It just always says six o'clock. Which is handy, but uh, obviously it's not correct. What is it? Quarter to ten. Quarter to ten. It is quarter to ten. Well. Action 52. Have you ever seen it? It's so bad it's good. I think it's got to be a whole stream compared for Action 52 though, it's not, it's not a small undertaking that. It's at least, at least an hour really to go through, uh, go through the games on that. It's not a, not a quick job. For some reason the eating's on about 400 degrees here, it's like being in Portugal. I'm just thinking what to play. 
too much choice you see when you just pick a game it's easier um, let's play a bit of toe jam and ale shall we I remember being blown away when this came out. This was one of the first Mega Drive games I've seen at somebody else's house. And I, remember, I do remember thinking these characters were cool. So that's how long we're talking about. I think they just got right they were in the right place at the right time in terms of the, uh, the 90s attitude, I suppose. I mean, obviously, it's a little bit cringeworthy now, but... Iconic, I think still. So we'll just play a couple of a couple. We'll play Random World. Just play a couple of couple of stages. Don't get too carried away. And it's high tops. You didn't know you collect all these presents and uh, get random items. The idea of the game is to find all the ship pieces, uh, rebuild your ship, and fly back to I think it's planet Earth. Oh, the sharks in here. You don't always know what's in the present, so sometimes you just have to open them up. It's a slingshot. Oh, no, 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 not drop, not drop. I can get out of here. Well, yeah, this is a fantastic two player game. The amount of hours I spent playing this game. Just completely uh, random. The zig and zag vibe, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, this game, I think, it just was totally at the right time, uh, and, and there was nothing like it. And in terms of two-player games, it was just crazy. The fact you could stick together or go your own ways, and the screen was screen would split. It uh, was fantastic. And this random world, you know, the game, the game never got old. You could play the, the, you know, the proper, not story mode, but you can play the game as intended, or you can play these random generated worlds. Just everything about the music, the gameplay, so compelling. Even the way the world opens up, I mean, it was just, I've never seen anything like it. Mail order. Yep. I'll buy one of them. Don't know what it was. Yeah, this is one of the top games, I think, on Mega Drive. Really does, you know, this ain't on any other system. And is there even a game like this on another system? I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, it's complete random nonsense. It's, but that, you know, that's what makes it kind of fun, I think. Yeah, don't eat that fish, I'll make you ill. Whoa, careful. Oh no, I fell back down to the other world. <laughs> yeah, that was the other thing, you see, it's just very unique. Yeah, probably better in two player to be fair. This two player, few beers. You know, you'll have a good laugh at the very least. So I'll put I'll put a different game on because uh, no, it's not for everyone. Still making coffee. Can't rush a good coffee. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've got to get another table. Up spilling coffee on the stream deck. Right, we've got one more. Quick wander around this one, see if anything interesting's here. Yeah, Bill, Bill, Bill and Ted here as well, isn't there? Really. Well, 
lot of cupids. But the music is actually excellent on this game. If you play it through a proper hi fi, the bass lines. EQ is just right, just right. Oh yeah, you've got to. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Maybe we were just easily pleased in the 90s. Yeah. Well, I'll stop doing it now. I'm obsessed. Oh, that's a bad spot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Money. And some of these worlds, you know, they're just massive. If you look on the look on the map, you can see there. Oh no! What have I opened now? Yeah, this is pretty much what you do the entire game. So I'll put something else on, but uh, yeah, Toad m &L. Fantastic uh, cover art as well on that game. this socket is I think it's some sort of platform it's an American exclusive it's a bit like dynamite heady I think don't particularly remember enjoying it when I played it before but let's put it on let's put it on Vic Tokai. Oh. Oh yeah, something about time. Clearly, a lot of clocks. Oh, is it some sort of race? Oh, I'll we'll have to play it. Yeah. Yeah, this is a strange one. I don't know if this don't think this was released in Europe. Pretty sure it wasn't. What the funk? Okay. Oh, I oh, can fire. Wow, this is uh, this is not what I remember. Surprisingly. Oh, shoot, Bambi. Oh. Oh, was I supposed to ignite the thing there? I think I was. Oh. oh no, it's not doing very well. Energy's too low. What am I doing wrong here? Ah, come on. What? Stupid game. Here we go. Can't, we can't be stopping. Stopping that beeping sound is frustrating to say the least. Oh, my God! What are we supposed to do here? Oh. Yes, yeah, so it's a sort of racing puzzle game. Did I actually do the level? Did I run out of time? I think that might be it, I've done a level. This looks like the glue Sonic and Dynamite heady together. It really does, doesn't it? Oh, here we go. 
Open up with energy. Off he goes. Oh, now they bring platform into it. Oh, meal. What the funk? Oh, God. Is that the end? Oh, wow. That was a bit easier. Superb parallax. Yeah, yeah some, there's, some nice, there's some nice elements to this. I've never really given it much time. I think I may have even got stuck on that first level last time I played it. Seems like things change, change things up a little bit for the uh, second level. Oh, come on. Definitely don't want to go on that. Yeah, it seems to have completely changed the gameplay since the first stage there. I was supposed to burst that balloon. I think it makes much odds. What's this? Some sort of switch. One up. Or is this just a little bonus room? Wasn't even the right way. There's potential for that to be true. No, nope, we're going back to exactly the same place. Didn't know there was anywhere to go. Okay, flip the switch. What's that? No, I'm I'm quite lost now actually. I can only think you've got to get back. Yeah, I don't remember seeing these. No. <laughs> That's the start. Just go down here. Maybe. Maybe. No. Maybe not. No idea where you're supposed to go. But yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad game actually. It's better than I uh, anticipated. I just no idea where you're supposed to go. Oh, come on. It says that's okay. That's about as much as I can figure out. Let's see what else has changed. Oh no, that annoying sound's come back. We're running out of energy. Yeah, I think I'll put a different game on. But yeah, this this looks okay, but some some reason somehow I have got uh, got myself lost here. Definitely saying that this is. Is it saying this is the way? I don't know what it's saying. I think, it's, I think it's stumbled me. I think it's beat me. It looks like it's uh, done me over. I went in there and you fall down. Yep. Done that six times. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Could it could have been moaning about nothing. Could have been on the way out. Oh, yes. I'm at the door. Ah. Could be some sort of boss battle now, I feel. Ah, flying clown. And they really did take quite a few tricks out of uh, Dynamite Heady's book, didn't they? Oh, I'm in trouble. 
He best die pretty quickly. Because I've not got a lot left. He doesn't look dead yet. So this is just his second stage. God, that noise is freaking quite annoying. What's happening here? Oh, Rocket Man. Best thing Socket can do is get in that. Get in there. Oh, he's in. See you later, son. Stick the old condom over the top. He's ready for blast off. Do I get to control this now? That'd be good. The next level's just shoot him up. Nearly give up then, you know. High speed area two. I see. This is a high speed area. Get yourself ready for some high speed. And we're not off. All that extra energy. So high speed. By speeding to my death. Here we go. Feel the speed. Oh, so I funked up the high speedness. Oh, not this again. Nice old chestnut. He's nothing without a bit of electric, this lad. What are you supposed to do here? Come on. Oh, I see. So you got to go through when it's whirling. Yeah, I see. Oh, look at him go. Demon. Oh, I missed the whirler. No. I'll shoot, I'll shoot robotic Bambi. I'll get through. Oh, no, come on. Here we go. Boom. Is that main character a duck? Does look a bit like a duck, yeah. I even found Gunlord had some difficult platform elements, yeah, definitely. This is the athletic area now, though. Treasure Castle. Bulletproof. What's happening now? Oh, I've got a bit of wind. Oh. God, that's annoying. Oh. Yeah, this is a. This game it likes to, to borrow a few elements here and there. Got some rather nasty uh, gate there. Jolly music though. I'm not sure if it really fits the action. Am I gonna get crushed? No. Yeah, I think it might be a duck. Ugh, oh, what? How could that have hurt you? It's weird, isn't it, how it, uh, you have these speed stages and all the rest of it. And there's these platforming stages. Oh, come on, duck. You must be able to go up there. What do you need? What? Run, you... Oh, sugar. That was a bad manoeuvre. He's in. The right way is usually that difficult. He's in. Is usually the way that is difficult. I've just fell on the fucking hole again now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking terrible at this game. Oh, oh, god. The terrors. I think I'm going to give up on this game. It is quite good. But it's still got that Rayman Rayman esque difficulty.
Probably quite addictive this thing. I mean, that's the second time I said I'm going to stop playing it, so. Oh, what am I doing? Same thing over and over. We're out of energy. Oh, oh, oh. All the bad things happening at once. Right, forget socket. Oh, crutch cam. So, I'll probably play one more game and then uh, call it uh, call it a morning, I think. Well, we have just gone 10. Let's play some Grindstormer. Tengen presents. Which one's easier, Matt? Trigger for options. Grindstorm is easier, is it? About to find out. Especially the bosses. They make a lot of movements off here in this game. Maybe I'm just playing it wrong. The ordinary shots. If that's a good move or a bad move. Probably not the greatest. Whoa, I got swamped. A stream that doesn't make my eyes or ears bleed. A tricky one that to play without knowing the game, especially live. I could have pressed bomb though, couldn't I? Could have really pressed bomb there. That's my downfall. I was overwhelmed and I didn't press bomb. Here's the boss anyway. All well, the bosses, should I say. Absolute pain in the anus these are. I'm going to spam my way through with some bombing because uh, just too much dodging for this time of day there. Hello, Sean. How are you? Yeah, clarity's pretty good. I did see a few of the uh, quite well-known American channels streaming this morning, and uh, I did think, you know what, you don't look as good as mine. Admittedly, they're probably using S video or something. I've seen America's a bit more difficult in it to. Get everything wired up via RGB, but then again, it's not impossible, is it? Yeah. 
Actual floating islands are a right problem in this game. Nice music now though. It's pretty hot. Mm. Ghost face. Here's a problem. I have to focus a lot of firepower on certain enemies in this game. I think that's the the big thing. Search, that'll help. I don't want missile or search. Come back to missile. Can't make my mind up. The dog with two dicks. I thought Daz was five minutes behind on comments, but I was five minutes behind the live stream. Sorry I'm late, been updating my LinkedIn post to get my next job. I need to buy another 49 CRTs and they ain't getting cheaper. Yeah, can you get me a job like about 40 grand a year and I just do literally nothing? Occasionally someone will ring me up and ask me a question and I'll give them like an answer. Not necessarily the correct answer, but I'll give them an answer. That's the sort of position I'm looking for. I mean, title it whatever you please. That's fine. But, uh... Oh shit me! Game over. Interior design career. Yeah, could be could be the way there. Is that what is that what you do? Just sit at home and people just ring you up, ask you the odd question. So that's what I'm sort of looking for. Oh, I've got to continue when you see the special coming. It's like being a gambler. This is. Look at the special. Love this. You got the special. Come on. Four bullets, special weapon. Just bomb the fuck out of that. Fed up with it. Oh man! No! No special this time either. I'm gonna get rewarded once. You'd fit in well in our place then, Darren. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. There must be, there must be some, there's loads. The more you get paid, the less you do, I've heard. To a degree. So. We're in trouble here, gotta knock the bomb out. There's just too much happening. What do I want? Search. Seek out those enemies. Really thick and fast. I think I think keep seek. Oh no! What? You need to the bomb then. You need to use the bomb. What are you doing enough bombing? That's the problem. Knock out the bomb now in preparation. Put me a bit of time. It's probably a last minute, last ditch of thing though. But probably now. This is when they came before, surely. Oh, they still keep coming. God. Them pink things are horrible. Shot, we need it. Whoa. What the funk? Damn. VV5 has delivered snow in the southeast. Spot of snow in the southeast. Throw out the bomb. We don't want to lose the special. I like that. That's like cave games do that, don't they? Some of the ones I've played do anyway. Oh, where's the boss? Where's the bossy brushes? Oh, it's big and it's pink. That is straight out of the Anne Summers catalogue, this uh, battle station. Dropping the bomb. Dropping the bomb. It's done nothing. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, Neil. But I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, man, why didn't I lose the bomb? Oh, I could have used the bomb. The feds are out and about. Have you all been keeping your comment responses updated? Go on, Linkadink. Go on, uh, oh, on YouTube. 
Yeah, I'm available 24-7. Leave a comment at 4 in the morning if you want. I'll roll out of bed and answer it. Especially if it's like what type of RGB scar I'm using. I'll be straight to your rescue. There's no more bombs left. How the hell? No! Oh, does that count or not? <laughs> I don't think that counts. That don't count. Damn! I don't believe it. Oh, what? Oh, damn. Went south at the last minute just like Sean's sausage. Yep. Go on, we'll have one more continue. Last credit, come on, the special's there. Will it, will it let me start at the boss? That's the question. We're near to the boss. Search, that could be brutal for the boss now. Search and laser, come on. Just gonna bomb the fucking thing to death. Fucking hell, that took a bit of a battering. I had to nip off. Bloke came to measure up my back doors. <laughs> yeah, just bother. Well, I'm nicking my teeth and managed to get to stage three. That last boss. That took some serious killing. hanging around. No way. Some sort of weird bonus. Is this a bonus stage, do you think? It's, uh, getting a lot of bonuses. This is definitely a bonus stage. Oh, must be. Oh. Set looking too friendly. 
Oh my word. This game is class. See his last credit here though. Straight into the slowest missile going. Oh, Mew. Should have bombed out. Should have bombed out straight away. In dangerous territory here. Just bombs away. Straight away. Oh, no. Terror. Is this arcade or Mega Drive mode? Uh, this is Grindstormer mode, so Mega Drive mode, I suppose. Seems a little bit easier. But there we go, anyway, I think I'll call it a morning there. But uh, thank you to everyone for watching and commenting. And uh, maybe, maybe we'll be back later on, probably late afternoon, early evening, I would have thought. But we'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll catch you all again soon. <laughs> Hello, it's me, your favourite bloody RS Fighting 500. You watch his Sega Socks live. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, support the Patreon. So here we are in Coventry looking at this pretty stunning piece of workmanship. Great bollard work. Made a real neat job. Really neat job. If you've got a job that needs doing, give these boys a call. Excellent work. Here at Stage One Upholstery Company. This is the Rods. Anyone caught using capital letters will be ejected from the stream and banned for life. This is your first and final warning.